intercepts from a table. Okay, you got the following table, and it has the values of uh, negative 38 and 40, uh, negative 23 and 30, and uh, negative 8 and 20. And what we want to do is we want to find the x-intercept. So if we want to find the x-intercept, then the y, the y must be 0. So we have to put a 0 in there because only want a number in for the x. So we'll go write the numbers here. So we have uh, negative 38, positive 40, negative 23, positive 30, uh, negative 8, and uh, positive 20. Uh, this is my x, and these are my y's. Now, I want the y to become 0. So if I'm looking at from 40 to 30, 30 to 20, what they're doing is they're subtracting by 10 each time. So we go minus 10 and minus 10. So what we want to do is we want to make y 0. So we're going to subtract by 10. So 20 minus 10 is 10. Well, what we want to do is we want to go again. So we're going to say uh, 10 minus 10 is the 0. So we get the 0 there that we need. So we had to subtract off actually twice here. So we went ahead and uh, we subtracted 20 minus 10. So 20 minus 10 was 10. So this was 10. And then we said 10 minus 10 is 0. Now over here, what we're subtracting, actually what we're not subtracting, but uh, we're adding by uh, 15. So we're adding 15. So 38 plus 15 is a negative 23. A negative 23 plus 15 is a negative 8. Now, if you're curious how I was able to do this stuff, well, you know, going back to the uh, 40 and 30, you can just take 40 minus 30 and you get 10. And then 30 minus 20 is 10 and so forth. Well, on this other one, you can take uh, minus 38, the negative 38, subtracted by the next number, which is a negative 23. Well, the double negative is going to turn into a positive. So negative 38 plus 23 would actually be, in this case here, a negative 15. But when I'm looking at the problem there, if I was to take negative 38 and negative 15, that's going to go up to uh, 53. But you see that the numbers are actually getting larger. So I want to go ahead and add the 15. So, you know, even though you might end up with like a negative here, sometimes you would have to adjust the number and uh, make it a positive. So in this case here, I made it a positive 15. So now I want to go again. So I'm going to go again. So I'm going to take uh, the negative 8 plus the 15. Well, that's going to be 7. So that'll give me 7. But see, I got to go again because I got to go twice. It took me two steps to get down to the 0. So I got to go uh, again twice here. So I have to add by 15. So 15 plus 7 is uh, 22. So, uh, what is my x-intercept? My x-intercept is 22 because it took me two steps to get from 20 to 0, so I need to do two steps also with the x. Just like I did two steps with the y going minus 10, minus 10, I'm going to have to do two steps with the uh, x where I'm adding 15 each time. So in this case here, my x should be uh, 22. Okay, next question. Okay, again, we want to do the x-intercept. So if we're dealing with the x-intercept, this is my x, this is my y. I want the y to be 0. So I want the y to be 0 on this one. 
Now, what we can do on this table here, we can actually approach this table a, a different way. We could go uh, backwards with this. We could start with uh, the 72 here, so this is my Y, and then you have uh, 32. Okay, then I go to uh, 54, and then 27 for the X. And then I go uh, 36 for the Y, and then 22 for the X. So 72 subtract uh, 54. So 72 subtract uh, 54. This is going to be 8, and this is actually going to be 18. So it looks like they're subtracting by 18 each time. Because if I subtract that by 18, I get 36. Now I take uh, 36, subtract by 18, that gives me 18. When I take this 18 and subtract it by 18, there's 0. So basically, i got to go two steps. Now, the other side for the x's, I'm going to take 32, subtract 27, and that gives me 5. So we're going to actually subtract by 5. Subtract by 5. Because that gives me 32, subtract 5 is 27. Uh, 27, subtract 5 is 22. Uh, 22, now, we got to go again. 22, subtract 5 is 17. So this should be uh, 17. I want to subtract this by 5, and this gets me down to 12. Because I want to go twice. So it's just like I went twice on the other side, I want to go two times on for the x's. So I keep on subtracting by 5. So 32 minus 5 is 20, 27. 27 minus 5 is 22. 22 minus 5 is 17. And 17 minus 5 is 12. So that's my second step. So my answer should be 12. Okay, next one, I have uh, a table, and uh, this one is the y-intercept. So this is my x, this is my y. So I, I want the other letter, in this case here, since we're talking about the y, I want the x to be uh, 0. So now I look at my table, and... Uh, Let's say I have uh, 32, I have uh, 84, and notice that the smaller numbers are on top, so that's why I'm writing it backwards. If the smaller numbers were arranged on the bottom, then I would, you know, go from top to bottom, but in this case here, I'm going to go from the bottom and work my way up to the top. Now, I want the X's to be 0, so if I take... Uh, 32 subtract 24 that gives me 8 so what we're doing here we're not adding 8 we're subtracting by 8 so 16 subtract 8 is 8 go again 8 subtract 8 is 0 now over here we got 84 subtract 64 well that's 20 so again, we're not uh, adding by 20, we're going to subtract by 20, subtract by 20. So if we subtract this by 20, we're now down to 24. But see, we got to go again, and this gets me down to 4. Because it took me uh, two steps on the x, it's going to take me two steps on the y. So the number should be 4 because we're subtracting by 20 each time. So 84 subtract 20 is 64. 64 subtract 20 is 44. 44 subtract 20 is 24. 24 subtract 4 gets me down to 4. Okay, next question. We have a uh, y-intercept here. So we're working on the y-intercept. So this is my x and this is my y. So I want the y, since we're working with the y-intercept, I want the x to be 0. So I want the x to be 0 there. 
So on this one, we want to move the x down. So this time I'll go with the uh, negative 28 minus 54. These are your x's and these are your y's. And then negative 21, negative 40, negative 14, negative 26. See, I want, I want to move up towards the zero. Uh, the number that's closer to the 0 is the negative 14. So that's why I'm going to go in this direction here. Because I want to move the x towards the 0. If I turned around the other way, the negative 28 is farther from 0 where the negative 14 is closer to 0. If I was to take uh, the uh, you know negative 28, subtract the negative 21, so that would give me uh, negative 28 plus 21 would give me 7 and actually it'd be a negative 7 but I'm not subtracting here I'm actually adding so I'm adding the 7 so sometimes you have to adjust after you subtract you might not be able to accept the number that you end up with so here I'm not accepting the negative uh, 7 I'm going to accept it as a positive 7 so I'm going to add 7 each time for the x so uh, 14 a negative 14 plus 7 is a negative 7. Okay, I'm going to go again and there's my 0. So it took me two steps. Now as for the other side, I'm going to take a uh, negative 54, subtract a negative 40. So it's a negative 54 plus 40 is a negative 14. But again, I'm going to adjust the negative 14 to become a positive 14. So I'm going to add this by 14 and add this by 14. So if I add by 14 I get negative 40. Negative 40 plus 14 is 26. A negative 26 plus 14 is now a negative 12. Now when I add a negative 12 plus 14 this gives me 2. So 2 should be my answer. So again I add by 14 so negative uh, 54 plus 14 is negative 40. Negative 40 plus 14 is negative 26. Uh, negative 26 plus 14 is negative 12. And negative 12 plus uh, 14 actually moves it up to a positive 2. So my answer should be 0, positive 2.